on the break. This is still women <laughs> in business. During Kemcha, we have a wonderful guest, Joyce Tiri, <coughs> who is the country director for Awani. And mm. Awani is African Women as a Business Network. It's quite a mouthful, but all <laughs> the wonderful things that it is doing, it, it's, it's quite, yeah. the, it may be a mouthful to pronounce and come out with, yeah. but it is doing great things. Yes. Joyce, you are still telling us about self-management, mm. yes, and how it trickles down. I, I was talking about quality of life and all mm. this. Mm. this. Mm. Self-management, how does it come in? Yeah. Um, hmm. You know, women are good at multitasking and doing all the work for everybody else apart from themselves. So when they are running a business, they are looking at producing, paying school fees, paying rent, paying everything else and everybody else apart from themselves. Societal conditions. So, uh -huh, yes. So now why we start with the topic of self-management? For you to do all that, you need to be in a good condition, health condition. So we taught them on how to pay yourself back. As you work seven days a week, have a day off, have time off for yourself. But get time by for yourself, a food supplement for yourself. Have time and at least reward yourself with a good hairstyle. Reward yourself with a good, a nice dress. Love yourself. Do some exercise because you can only do all that you can only earn when you're healthy. So at the end of the cell of the nine months training, there was a testimony session. I wish we invited this TV to record that. We will come. And, <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So um, women were giving testimonies. I look healthier. I am now lighter. I am able to do my work in a light way. I love myself. I feel better. I reward myself at least every month. For those women that are doing bigger businesses, by the way, they also don't have time for themselves. You can have a holiday, one day holiday. Go and have a, a cup of coffee in another place that has good ambience. When you reward yourself, you get to love yourself more and, and you will do, better. yes, and, and you will give back productive. better, yes. But the fact that we even have to stress this, it's yeah. so sad. You yeah. Know? The fact that we have to talk about these things, it is so sad. And let me tell you, those testimonies <laughs> that came in, trust me, Joyce, yes. those testimonies did not tell you how they struggled with guilt. Yeah. Yes? One, because your grandmothers, your mothers, your great-grandmothers have always drummed it from us early, even before mm -hmm. you, could, mm -hmm. you could crawl. They've drummed it inside you that you're going to sacrifice, you're going yes. to sacrifice, sacrifice. You're going to be drained. You are living, you are ex they don't say ex living, <laughs> you are existing for your children. You are existing for you're, your family. You're doing everything else for another person. For another person. Apart so by the time you. you come back to reorient this person and, and tell them, you know what, to give the best, you must be able to take care of yourself and, and feel good. Yeah, you know? yeah. You have no idea, okay, mm. you must have an idea, about the guilt that mm. they have to fight for. Yeah, yeah. Not only per se, mm. intra, mm. yes, mm. among us themselves, internal guilt, mm. but also the fact that there is someone on the peripherals waiting to tell you, ah, so you have not worked today? Mm -hmm, that you are resting. You are lazy, that is a sign of laziness. <laughs> Apart from that, it's not only just self-development mm. that we have to look at it. Uh, mm. To look at, mm. I'm just so delighted that you get to to look at the bigger picture mm. of all this. Let's get back right now into the linkages to the markets mm. and, and, and all this. Yes. You recently came in, uh, came back from from Canada. Mm. How was it, and what is the potential of, of Ugandan uh, products out there? What I must say is that. Um, Uganda, we are blessed with the biggest percentage of our land is, um, is arable land. We can grow crops everywhere. And again, we, in some sectors, we are kind of leading, like coffee. Coffee, Ugandan coffee is, yeah. is the best, especially Arabica coffee. And then when you go on the side of um, fruits and vegetables, pineapples in Uganda the sweetest. are the sweetest. Yeah. When you move into shea butter, shea butter, West Africa produces shea butter, yeah. but Ugandan shea butter melts easily, yeah. moisturizes easily. So Ugandan products have potential in outside world. 
we were attending CL Expo in the Food Expo in the Montreal, Canada, and we looked at about 20,000 um, guests that, that the whole show uh, hosted. And we realized that coffee has potential, um, um, fruits and vegetables have potential, and actually bananas, cooking bananas, have huge potential. The, since, the yes, since Canada is bringing in many African countries to, to work there. So we have potential in those areas and also peanut butter. But where is the challenge? The challenge is in, in, in packaging, product presentation. We have the right product, but when you move around the whole show, you will realize, and it's not only in Uganda, East Africa, you yeah. will realize that the packaging is the other paper porch, porches that are the ones uh, that are packaging coffee, drying dried yes. fruits. So um, we have potential, but we need better presentation. Uh, because the nine women that went, at least everyone has someone that has requested for samples. So um, along the way, maybe by the end of this year, we will have made a contribution towards Ugandan exports. Yes, let me get this straight. I was bragging uh, <laughs> some time back. <laughs> I was bragging about you know the journeys. One because I know how far we've come yes. as women, but also because when I get into any supermarket, mm. any mm. any you know any place, mm. any establishment that is is selling this product, the mm. very first thing that I'm keen mm. on is really in the dry section. I want to find out what is there, mm. how it is packaged, mm. yes, mm. and who it is really, mm -hmm. and if the, the if it is Ugandan, all the much better. That's where I gravitate to. But I was really hyping and saying, you know, our, our packaging is wonderful. And now <laughs> you're telling me that when you go out there, the packaging yeah. is not that good. Yeah, when you go out there, the packaging that is coming from here in Uganda. It is not up to the international standards. What type of packaging are they specifically looking for? You will find um, the packaging should come at least with the, the stickers all not being pressed there. It should be eco-friendly. Yeah. It is should not, it is, shouldn't be bulky. Mm. And, you know, there should be proper, it should be a product that really looks beautiful. Yes. And we are lacking it here in Uganda. So for me, what I did along the way in my booth, I would invite investors. Yeah. Investors come and invest in Uganda in the areas of packaging. Yeah. And if, if, if government, uh, <laughs> government is also aware that packaging is a huge problem in Uganda, especially for the agribusiness side. Yes. So um, I think it's the area that we should work together on, mm -hmm. both private sector and government and uh, we shall really find our products in the international shelves. I think even as we, uh, as we look at where we've come from, mm. yes, and I take myself, for example, with, with, my, with my bragging about the packaging and saying, wow, mm -hmm. and this was uh, sometime last year on, on women in business. Mm. Let's not get fix, fixated on, 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 on where we are because mm -hmm. of focusing so much on the past of mm -hmm. where we've come from. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get so lost in that. Yes. And so many times people rationalize and they don't know. I think what we lose focus of is the fact that others are far ahead. Yes, you know, a buyer does not want to know, know where so you much. have come from. They want to know, they want a good product. They, they don't want to know where you have come from. So for us as a country, we need to work up to where the international standard yes. needs us to be. Yes. yes, there's a story in Uganda, there's a story, a good story, yeah. uh, the reason why our product should be uh, picked mm -hmm. from the shelf. But in addition to that story, what else? the presentation must be attractive. Yeah. There should be good packaging. So I think as a country, let private sector work with government mm -hmm. and we have better packaging. For me, every time I move, I am talking about packaging. packaging. And, it is and, and you see, if you don't highlight some things like this, it's very wonderful that we're going to have you, uh, Joyce, today. Yes. If you don't talk about things like this and disseminate this information to the women out there mm. in larger amounts, mm -hmm. yes, in, in bigger and bigger you know, uh, numbers, mm. we tend to focus so much on, oh, I came from, uh, from no particular 
Mm. <laughs> so packaging. Now I have this packaging. Yes. The complacency mm -hmm. is so high. Mm -hmm. And yet for us, we need to do quicker stuff to actually mm. get forward and, and get, get onto the point and, and whereby you know that point. I have, this, you know that packaging that I have this packaging well that is going to sit very well in this particular community, mm -hmm. but, but also in addition to that, but mm -hmm. also I have in addition to that, yes. this story to tell. This story to tell mm -hmm. in addition to, to the good packaging. Good packaging. Uh, and, and yes, so I, I want to appreciate the government, especially through uh, the Uganda Export Promotions Board. They are our partners we have been working together, especially around information meetings that we are holding countrywide and trainings in our program of, um, of uh, promoting exports. They are giving good information to women, especially around packaging and branding. Yeah. They are receiving good information, but where to get the packaging is the problem. Right now, some women know what the right packaging should look like, but where is it? Yeah. So it needs to be backed by accessibility. And then get it to imported. For me, I don't want it to be imported. We, ca we want it to be made here so that it can easily be accessed. Yeah. Because once it is imported, yeah. mm -hmm. it is more expensive. Mm -hmm. When you see those and small porches that you see in supermarkets, like for these fruits that you saw here, yeah. one pack yeah. is 1,300. That means in that fruit, there's 1,300 that is not going to be eaten, but it will be spent. The, the small, the small, the, the small yes. The small 1,300. 1,300. We're not even talking about the content about inside. Your own cost. There's 1,300 that is spent on package. Yeah. It's not going to be eaten. Yeah. None of the two will benefit the seller and the buyer. And no wonder we had to fight. And no wonder <laughs> we had, 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 had a family friend, had a, you know, had a family and friend as, as hyping you know, up about as the as packaging. And the person was like, but this is our coffee. And the person was like, but this is our coffee grown on Ugandan ground, why are they pricing it at 7000 Because sometimes the packaging comes It's expensive, from because it comes from China. Oh. Yeah. And unless that is considered, then you're not going to have actually the domestic market really yes. rise up yes. for, for goods such as yes. this. So as government and private sector, let's work together on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah about that. Okay, fine, let's not all be all, all doom and gloom. <laughs> the great thing is that we have a focus on the future. We know where we are at yes. and where we should be going. Mm. Now, to the woman who knows where she should be going and is urban-based and wants to come in here mm. with her bananas, we have a couple of uh, drying uh, facilities here. Mm. Tell us about it. How is she able to tap into this? This woman within the urban place has her um, uh, her, her bananas in, mm. in, in Matuga, in Gayaza, and mm. wants to be able to not only just eat, but do something good with that. Mm. How can she take advantage of this before we go to the rural woman? So Awan offers different services. Among them, there is BDS, Business Development Services. So we uh, empower women to get information, to get market linkages, to, but also the practical assistance. So for the woman that is out there, we are controlling food waste and, and post-harvest losses. So there's a time when the, there's a peak time, bananas are too much, pineapples are too much, and they are sold 1,000. So that's how we came up with the facilities of drying. We have them in different areas, but we have one that is here in Intinda, where you come and dry your pineapples and they are able to live for the next one and a half years mm -hmm. and you keep there your money there's a point there's a time when a pineapple is at 1000 uganda shillings and there's a time it's at 5000 6000 yes mm -hmm. when you dry it that pineapple comes to 100 grams and it is 6000 so it means that pineapple will stay at 6000 for the next continuous yes for the next one and a half yeah. so um they should be encouraged to come here and, and have information about drying uh, free of charge. And again, the other services that they need, they only don't need value addition. They need access to finance. So what we do here, we have a team that will help them to, to, to be able to be bankable, have right business plans, 
how to develop proper proposals, how to prepare yourself to be bankable, tap into opportunities. Yeah. So they can come here for that, and they can also come here for business development services. Mm. Yes. And then to the woman down there in the village in Mawukota, mm. Mawukota is actually just near here now. Yes. <laughs> we are talking Kashari, we are talking about uh, uh, Rijeo, mm. yes, in, in, in Kojiri. Mm. We are talking about all these Mika different places. and exactly, Arua. Mm. Exactly. Mm. How can they be able to tap into the huge export potential mm. to these uh, European countries and elsewhere? Knowing that she is there, she has, she, she, there's, there's quite a lot of food waste going on mm -hmm. there because they are not able to. But now we know that Awan, as well as others, are able mm. to come in and, and be able to broker this and create a linkage. Mm -hmm. How can that particular woman be able to, to access? Yes, uh, we are running a Women in Export Acceleration Program that is running the whole country. As I had shared in the beginning, we have uh, trainings that are running in all the regions in major towns. And we have at least the agents in those areas that are able to be to help them. We also have a running uh, website where they can connect with us. And on the website, there's a phone number to call. Um, and on different social media handles, they can access us. Um, and as I was saying before, every woman is a potential exporter, whether a farmer or, or um, someone in value addition or someone in trade. So they all need the information. So they can go um, at least at, uh, at the district level. They meet with the district commercial officers. We have at least introduced ourselves in those major towns to district commercial officers, they ask about Awan, they will give them information. And it is easy as that? Yes, as simple as that. I, I want you to, to just recap, like go through your mind mm. and uh, basically tell us about one particular thing, and I normally do this, one <laughs> particular thing that you look at and say, I wish women knew this. I wish, oh, I wish. The thing that you wake up in the morning Yes, Joyce? Mm. And then you think to yourself and you say, I wish women knew this. What is that one thing? That one thing oh, you want is, to think is, about is, is around, uh, I don't need to think about it. I've already stressed it in many places. Yeah. Women over time, they have been thinking that a man is the sole provider at home. And many times I have argued that women and men are companions. So I wish they knew that if they worked together, if they both worked, they would be able to facilitate everything. They would be having a happy family at the end of the day. Yeah. So I wish they knew that working together or every person working in a home, yeah. it would facilitate better. It wouldn't stop you from being a woman and it wouldn't stop a husband to be a husband. Along the way, women learn when there's a problem, when the man is not working anymore, or they, when they are no longer with him, they realize that I wish I had worked. It is not wrong to work when you are a woman. It is important. We can only show our daughters that they are as important as any other person. If we come out and work like any other person, when we are in the field working and earning money, there is no money written on woman or man. When we are in the society, you know, juggling, trying to get money, it's not easy for both of us. A man is not a superman. They deserve assistance. They deserve to be worked with. So if we worked together, you would reduce on the burden on a man. Some men are able to steal because they need to facilitate a certain lifestyle and they are doing it alone. So if you're doing it together, probably they don't have to steal. Probably they don't have to say the many lies they need to say because they know she will bring, I will bring and we will provide as a family. Yes. You're looking at it from, <laughs> from the perspective that of, of empathy towards towards the man. You remember the other, which is not wrong, you, you remember the other example 
that you gave, yes, yes, mm. of the alpha and omega in the in the house that man. <laughs> yes. yes. Now, <laughs> this, how do you bring on? Because mm. that one totally has a different mindset. Mm. Yes, mm. it's very easy to get, uh, you know, m someone here within the town and then talk to the man. Yes, because the the price, the the, the food mm. is so high. The rent is so, so high. high. He is so burdened. Mm. Yes, so it's very easy to say, can you allow, can you motivate, can you support your wife to actually be able to, to do this? Can you encourage her when she comes to you with a business idea? Can you not shut it down? Mm -hmm. Because in the long run, you get to have relief mm -hmm. from this burden ABCD. Mm. Now, how are you going to approach it from Mr. Alpha and Omega that mm. you spoke to? Mm. And who tells you if everything here is, is mine, mine, including a woman? Even that woman, as you see, <laughs> can get us water, is mine. Yes. yes. Yes? How are you going to approach that? Because you can see his dominance, his sense of self, is basically within the resources and the different societal, you know, everything mm -hmm. that he has had mm -hmm. from child, childhood. Mm -hmm. So, how are you going to come in and say, by the way, it would be a good idea and beneficial to you as a man? to support your wife so that she can also bring in something for your betterment. How are you going to phrase it? In the same way? You know, while a percentage of, of women want to work and men don't want to work, there's a percentage of women that believe that a man is the sole provider, a man should be the source of everything, a man, for me, I'm supposed to wait yes. and I receive from him yes. alone. So in both cases, both a man and a woman, they need to be empowered. They need to understand the dynamics of, of life, that life has changed. So that alpha and omega needs to, to be challenged by community leaders that are doing well. You know, when you are challenged by a fellow man that have allowed their daughter to go to school, that have allowed their woman, to, their wife to go there and speak in public, you get to learn. And then some women here in town, they think they are the queens. Even in my culture, you know, a woman is supposed to stay home and a woman and a man work. But it has changed. The standards of living are so high. And then you know, the calamities come and you can't come out. So they both as a network we keep on we don't keep on we don't keep quiet we keep on talking and talking and talking to both men and women yeah, yeah. i wish the young yeah. girls would get I to have i wish the young girls would this get to have yes this, this clarity this yes? this passion mm. this, this, uh, this passion drive and belief in themselves this, uh, from as early as and belief in themselves mm. what is the one way as possible to enable this what is wait for them to, to, to become to become or you have targets right now so actually right now we work more with the youth young women so that is between 18 and 35 we work with them to those that are out of school because they are the ones we are able to to run with they are they have business ideas or they are running a business a bit so we are working with those. So along the way, I want us to work in schools because the children can be empowered right from schools, especially to understand that agribusiness is also a business. And it makes money. Yeah, profitable. and yes, it makes and money. It's not dirty, it's not a punishment. You know, it is a, a shop, like a shop of clothes, like a shop of cosmetics. It actually, <laughs> we, we need to make sure that they grow things and actually sell them. Yeah. And they see that a cabbage is actually 3,000. Mm -hmm. And when I have it, and it's mine. So right now we are still working with the young women that are out of school, but we hope to work with children in school. I want you to look at that camera and just I in want one you to minute. look at that camera I want you to and just in one minute. Something to that, I want you to look to that woman that is something to that, that man to that outside, outside that, that is young that boy man to that young outside girl that outside young there. Boy just wrap it to that up. young girl mm. outside there. Just wrap it up. And then wow. So I want to encourage the woman out there that being a woman, 
does not make you um, very vulnerable. I want you to understand that being a woman is an opportunity because we are, uh, you know, the beings that, are is, that can easily multitask. We can do so many things at a go. And we also have a brain that uh, is able to innovate and invent. So if you're able to innovate something, you, you, you are able to, to go far, you're able to earn. I will give you an example um, of, of like a woman in marriage. Women are good at multiplying. They, you just need to, to have one egg and multiply and have a baby or even have two or three at a go. So that potential is a huge potential. Let's use that to tap into opportunities. And women, let us be eager to learn. Buy a newspaper once in a while. Listen to the news. Don't watch soaps only. Instead Listen of going to, the to TikTok. <laughs> yes. And be able to, to, to learn how you can innovate and invent things. I know we have that brain. Please, don't leave men to work alone. We can be companions. Yes. yes. Thank you. an extension of this because it's not <laughs> enough we need to, to get to talk to the women and find out uh, you know how this has changed their lives and, and mm. that is something i look forward to we love yeah. these stories mm -hmm. i hope you've been inspired you know i hope wherever you are you know you, wherever you are you can do something mm -hmm. there's so much that can be done sometimes we don't get into something into some we don't tap into this potential because we don't even know that these opportunities are there mm -hmm. and even when they are there mm -hmm. when we see other women come up and they are they are representing the country at different trade fairs we think it's only for them and we think we can't be able mm -hmm. to do so mm -hmm. but joyce here is telling you it's very possible yeah it is very very possible with your matoke with your bananas with your pineapples mm -hmm. with your carrots mm -hmm. it is very possible to tap into these export markets right yes yeah. so would want you please to get in touch with us and let us know what you think about this Thank you so much, Joyce. You're welcome. This is wonderful. Yes. And we hope to see you again yes. within the next future. I'll this be has glad. been Doreen Kemcha on Women in Business Smart 24 TV. Mm. Please get in touch with us and let us know what you think about this. Until then, see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>